My friend from West Virginia says that this bill is important for his state. And I understand that. But this is a bill that doesn't work for my state of New Hampshire. Um, and his suggestion that if states don't like it, they have the option not to participate just doesn't work because the businesses in my state of New Hampshire are going to be affected. This is a proposal that fundamentally violates state sovereignty and enables one state to impose the enforcement of its laws on the 49 other states and territories without their approval. And this legislation would impose new burdens on small businesses, not only in New Hampshire, but actually across the country. I represent a state that does not have a sales tax. There are still some states left in this country that don't have sales taxes. So you can understand why I, I oppose this measure, because this legislation will hurt small, online, family-owned businesses in New Hampshire, businesses who have no experience collecting sales taxes whatsoever. Now, the proponents of this legislation have said that small businesses won't be affected thanks to the exemption for businesses with less than a million dollars in revenue. Well, that's just not true. This legislation creates a disincentive for internet firms to grow and create jobs for American workers. We know that the margins for so many small online retailers are very slim, and I'll give you an example. I've heard from a small business owner in Hudson, New Hampshire. Hudson's down along the border of Massachusetts. I know you know it well. Um, his business is approaching a million dollars in revenues, and he has about six employees, just six employees. Now, under the Internet sales tax legislation before us, this company would be considered a large business, revenues over a million dollars, because they're almost there. But if this legislation passes, the company's plans to grow are really in doubt. They're going to be forced to reconsider whether or not they're going to continue to grow, continue to hire more employees, because this arbitrary threshold creates a real disincentive for them to grow. Now, e-commerce has been a real boon to small businesses in New Hampshire and across the country. It's helped companies find new markets. It's helped them add new revenues. But for companies looking to grow through online sales, this legislation represents a real ceiling for growth. That's why I've joined with a number of my colleagues to call on the Senate to rethink this legislation. We need to think through its unintended consequences. Small businesses across the country, not just in non-sales tax states like New Hampshire, but small businesses across the country will see their tax burdens increase. And I want to give just a few examples of the new burdens that are going to come with this legislation. First, as I mentioned, each state has different sales and use taxes, so businesses would need new software to figure out how to collect and remit the right taxes. And it's my understanding that the states under this legislation would be responsible for providing that software to the businesses in their states. Now, I think this creates an unfunded mandate for the state of New Hampshire to have to provide um, that software for the small businesses in the state who would be affected. Small businesses would also need to collect personal information from each buyer to make sure they're complying with all state and local sales taxes. And these small businesses would also have to deal with audit and enforcement actions from out of state. In other words, they would have to answer to taxing authorities in places where they have no representation whatsoever. And as states and localities consider new taxes, these small businesses would have no voice in that process because they have no representation in those jurisdictions. So these are just a few examples of the many unintended consequences that this legislation would create. I intend to join with a number of my colleagues in filing amendments to improve this bill, including ways that we can protect states' rights and small businesses. If the state of New Hampshire doesn't want to participate because we have no sales tax and we don't think our businesses should be forced to collect Massachusetts sales taxes or Maine sales taxes or Vermont sales taxes online, um, then it seems to me that we ought to be able to opt out of this legislation. 
The citizens and small businesses in New Hampshire who will be affected by this legislation deserve a full hearing on these issues. And I urge my colleagues to join us in addressing these defects before we pass this bill.